lovely, lovely imps. Today, I come to you with breaking news, a breaking news update to one of our Drama Mama segments. Uh, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you are no doubt familiar with my Drama Mama series. If you are new to my channel, I highly recommend you go to my channel and just search Drama Mama. I have a ton of what we call Drama Mama videos. Our Drama Mama videos are basically taking an internet drama and diving in deep and finding out what happened, why it happened, and whether or not, well, whether or not or how important it is. And then at the end of that, after looking through all the receipts, we come to a conclusion. And there is one drama that has been plaguing us for a very, very, very long time. And that is the drama surrounding the YouTuber by the name of Illuminati. Now I have done uh, uh, like, I don't even know how many videos, six videos about this issue. Now those videos were of course from like three separate streams, but we broke them up so for watchability. But you can watch all of those by just searching Demon Mama Illuminati. Just put those two together and you'll find them real easy. We will also be linking them below in the description of this video and you'll find all of the links to all the different videos in the videos in order. I highly recommend if uh, you know, if you don't know anything about the Illuminati situation, going back and watching those videos. They are long, but they are very, very, very detailed and you will walk away understanding why this issue is very important. But in the name of brevity, I am going to give a very small summary here. Basically, uh, a couple of months ago, uh, a, uh, fairly, uh, a fairly popular and successful uh, uh, anti-MLM and anti-cult streamer, or uh, uh, video maker, sorry, by the name of Illuminati, um, uh, got into some hot water with another very large uh, content creator. And in fact, this uh, hot water involved Illuminati um, uh, falsely alleging plagiarism. And uh, as this situation started to shake out, um, the stories of a number of Illuminati's former um, longtime collaborators uh, and employees in some cases uh, came to the surface. Many of these stories had already been told but had not gotten much attention and other ones were being told for the first time. Um, and as these stories were told, uh, Illuminati responded with nothing short of outright aggression. In fact, jumping immediately um, to uh, legal threats, uh, to uh, severe, severe attacks on the characters of these people. Um, she uh, 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 ended up di diving into one of her former collaborators slash employees' uh, mental health crises uh, in public for seemingly no real reason other than to try to imply that this person was a bad person for some reason. Um, it got incredibly messy incredibly fast. And after that happened, the response was uh, overwhelming against Illuminati. And the reason for that is because a number of uh, people who had previously maintained their silence out of a desire to move on decided to speak up. And uh, the resulting storm of evidence uh, that piled up against Illuminati was overwhelming. Uh, and uh, as it turns out, in the end, uh, it appears that not only was Illuminati, uh, um, you know, quite manipulative uh, to her um, coworkers and employees, but uh, specifically with one of her employees, she essentially emotionally manipulated them into a position where they were entirely dependent on her for basically every aspect of their life. Uh, she pressured them into a uncomfortable living situation where she had control over the house. She pressured them into a, uh, into a contract a lease for a company car, which she actually aggressively uh, repossessed on incredibly shallow grounds. 
Um, this resulted in him losing a bunch of his possessions that he needed to make a living. Um, and it was genuinely, um, genuinely terrible. Uh, it was terrible. It was very difficult to listen to. Uh, the evidence piled up very strongly against Illuminati. And uh, recently, uh, uh, there has been a, a bit of silence on this front. Um, there was word that a, another major video was going to be released by a former collaborator, and that video didn't happen. And uh, when people asked, hey, what happened to the video from the uh, former collaborator? Um, and interestingly, the person who uh, owned the house that all of this stuff went down in, a small update came out which was uh, this creator, a creator by the name of Oz Media, um, saying that uh, they were being sued. That they were being sued uh, by Illuminati for simply saying that they were going to make a video on the situation. So we were just talking about how Oz Media uh, uh, mentioned that they were getting sued by Illuminati for simply stating that they were going to tell their side of the story and for uh, telling small aspects of the story in, a, uh, in an interview portion of another person's video. Well, today we have received an, uh, a, a rather large update on the situation from Oz Media themselves. So, uh, so, we are going to dive right into it. That is the, the quick summary. Illuminati engaged in uh, alleged abuse of, uh, of, of former employees and collaborators. Uh, oh, I didn't even mention the fact that Illuminati also uh, has been uh, fairly solidly um, uh, uh, demonstrated via evidence uh, to have engaged in uh, uh, using using multiple sock sock puppet accounts on social media to damage the future careers of people that she had formerly worked with even people that she parted on neutral terms with um or at least neutral from their mind uh she took these things very personally and often worked to damage their careers again as far as the evidence has shown. This is all al allegations. None of this has been proven in a court of law, um, but that's from that's the conclusion that we have come to from our reading of the situation, okay? So today, we are going to be watching the a, a video, an update video from Oz Media talking about the Illuminati situation. I have not seen this, so I will be reacting to this with you for the first time today. Um, Let's get into it, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Howdy, everyone. I'm Oz, in the flesh. No cartoon avatar this time. I'm making this because I'm giving an update to both my regular viewers and those who are here for something a bit more specific. To my regular viewers first, I hope this video can help explain where I've been over the last three years. For those who are here for the Illuminati drama, I do have some news, and I'm making this video for full transparency, as I believe this is important in a situation like this. First and foremost, I need to make everyone aware, for reasons that I hope this update will make clear, for my safety, I need to put a short and temporary pause on production of my video on Illuminati. The video will still of course be produced. I just need to put things on a lower burn and return to regular content for the time being, for many reasons. Some of them being the honest truth that I can't afford to continue at this rate, both fiscally and physically. Illuminati has taken this to a legal front, using the courts because of how poorly things went for her on the internet. As a reminder, for those of you unaware, Illuminati started a fight with a lawyer on Twitter, accused him of copying her style, which then led to other content creators and past collaborators speaking out about their past interactions with her. Illuminati is the one who took this off of Twitter and brought it- Yeah, for note, uh, the almost every single former member of her, uh, of her team, uh, of her collaboration team came forward uh, and uh, agreed with one another's retelling of events, it was a almost unanimous 
uh, agreement that not only had uh, sp particular members been singled out by Illuminati, but that they that they had witnessed various aspects of uh, one another's stories. It is a is one of those situations where the abundance of evidence went so badly against Illuminati. And uh, in my last video, we did an, we looked at how much Illuminati's channel had suffered as a result. Illuminati lost hundreds and hundreds of thousands of viewers. Like it was, it has been a mass exodus. Her community page um, was getting actively and provably purged of com of comments that were uh, disagreeing with her narrative of the situation to an unbelievable degree. People were posting their comments and then you could go and you could look at the page and see that their comment was missing. It was aggressive. The channel has uh, suffered greatly. Uh, and so I just wanted to say that when he, when, when Oz Media here says, oh yeah, um, like I, uh, the, the, you know, she lost on the internet, you know, Illuminati was losing on the internet. She really was. The, the public rejected, uh, her narrative, which is wild because at first when it was, when it was only her video, a lot of her fans were more than willing to hear it out. And it was only afterwards when her evidence was analyzed that people began to realize just how much misleading, how much her, her video was misleading onto YouTube, where she would then post a suicide note of one of her former employees for the world to see as an attempted own. Yes, that is also, that was what I mentioned. I mentioned that she uh, divulged uh, extremely private mental health information, including a suicide note, yes. We covered this, like I said, in my other videos. You can watch the entire saga on my channel. Just go ahead and search Illuminati on my channel and you'll find it, or check the, the, the description down below. Let's go. Now, full transparency, I was one of the creators who spoke out against her, despite the fears and hesitations that I had. I've put a lot of things in my life on hold to produce this video, ending up with nearly 110 pages of a manuscript which details as much of what I can. And let me tell you something, converting this monstrosity into a video with its accompanying half thousand screenshots has been one hell of a monumental task for me, a one person team to embark on. I want to get everything right, or more of I need to, and I need to ensure that everyone's stories are factual, but to do so, I need to pump the brakes and not rush this out for the sake of being able to not stress about my next meal, or my next bill for that matter. Because of this, I need to, and more importantly, I want to, continue my regular content so I can afford to live day to day. There is another factor to all of this, a factor which Illuminati has caused, or as I will be calling her throughout this video, Blair. For full transparency, which will be explored more in my future video, Blair and I dated. We were a couple for a decent ch I knew it! I, I was right! I was right! I knew it! I was correct! People kept saying no, and I was like, no, I swear to God, I read that somewhere. I swear to God that that was the case. The way they even talked about it was, was like they were in a relationship. I knew it. They weren't just roommates. Chunk of time. This puts me in an ungodly complicated situation of doing everything that I can to try and separate the relationship drama from the public drama, as in the process of dating her, there are a lot of things which I bore witness to. Before anything else. Yes, to, to, to note on that, this is something I discussed in my previous videos on this, but one of the things that was most telling about this situation was Oz Media's own confessions. Because uh, as it turns out, Oz Media at s multiple points was actually partook in some of the bad behaviors that other members of the team had alleged. And Oz Media, at the very beginning of all this, personally reached out to contact them, to confess, and to ask for forgiveness when, when possible. Um, uh, because Oz Media was basically uh, on on Blair's side for the for when a lot of these things were going down as a result of their close connection. 
Um, and Oz Media, in a previous video, extensively talked about how manipulated they felt. Um, and uh, that they felt like they were constantly being pressured to participate in things that didn't make them feel good. And uh, that they did so out of a sense of, of clearly love. Um, but that they were that at the the their relationship ended up falling apart previously there was no confirmation I guess that it was a a a you know dating relationship but uh there was I mean I, I it sounded like that when they were talking about it that's why I said that before but regardless uh that um their relationship ended as a result of uh at least in part of Oz media saying I don't feel comfortable with this stuff I don't feel comfortable with what we've what what I'm being asked to do. I don't feel comfortable, uh, uh, you know, being told that I need to help you damage the reputations of people we used to work with. So, I just wanted to add that in as commentary from stuff that we've covered in the past. Let's continue. I want to firmly state that this update is being made with the understanding that there is a likelihood that this will end up in a courtroom. I say this because things have been escalating Holy quite a moly. bit behind the scenes, and the stress has certainly been rising. What I can only describe as retaliation from the person who is my ex, former employer, and prior colleague, Blair is in the process of currently foreclosing my home because of this stress. Holy shit. We'd heard that the home was coming on the line, but... She's just trying to fucking foreclose on it? Of Blair taking my home from me. I need to pump the brakes and change directions so I won't be homeless come Christmas. Because that's when Blair set my home to foreclose. Right before Christmas. And yes. Bla uh, by the way, just for those in chat who are asking, uh, Oz Media uses uh, he, him, they, them pronouns. So if I alternate between those, that's because those are the pronouns that are listed on their Twitter page. So, let's Blair has the power to set the foreclosure sale. This situation was a fear and hesitation that I had from the beginning, even telling Wonder as far back as April, a day- So this is from April of 2023. This is Wonder. Wonder is one of the people whose videos we covered in the past. Uh, Wonder is, in my opinion, the greatest victim in this entire situation. Uh, Wonder was barely 20 at the time that uh, Illuminati attempted to uh, basically take full control of his life. Uh, and it clearly did severe emotional and mental uh, uh, damage to Wonder, as is outlined in the videos we've covered in the past. Let's read this here. Wonder says, I'd say that if you want to go public, you have to pretty much, uh, you, you'd have to pretty much have a large portion of sad milk backing you. Well, that did happen. Speaking today has lifted a weight off my chest. I no longer have to hide or watch my words, or I don't have to hide and watch my words. Oz Media says, I'm scared, man. She has the power to evict me from my house. I'm wonder, uh, I, a wonder says, and if she were to do that, you go public with that too. She gets scared and double downs and then evicts, evicts you, she would permanently lose her platform. She wouldn't dare. She can barely reply to Legal Eagle. She wouldn't dare do such a thing. I'm gonna be sick. Are you home right now and able to talk? Oh, man. Now, of course, I don't know if this is true about permanently losing her platform. Let's take a look. Um, let's look at Social Blade real quick and see where things have gone for Illuminati. Oh my goodness. Still losing subscribers. So Illuminati, even as of now, the last in the last 30 days, Illuminati is still losing followers. 20,000 lost in the last 30 days. That's, oh my God, look at the chart of total video views. The first drama, hold on, I need to double check and go figure out when the first Illuminati, when the Illuminati drama took off. It was in, it would have been was it April? It must have been, because that was when these were from. Let me check when my first video was. So my first video was about 
hold on, can I get the exact date on this? That's the reignition drum. Okay, here's the investigation. Okay, let's take a look at when I posted this one. So that was in, in the end of May. So yeah, this must have started in April. Let's look at when Wonders video came out, because that was, that was when it really kicked off. Okay, so that was four months ago. Okay. So that would have been the beginning of May. So this all started at the end of April. And if we look then, her videos are doing fine. And then right as April hits, boom, flatlined from, from, she, she's, her channel has lost close to 50% of its weekly video views since this drama went down. That is, that is wild. Daily averages of losing a thousand viewers. Weekly averages. There it is. There's May. This is when it all went down right there. This is when it all went down. Minus 200,000 subscribers. Minus 70,000 subscribers. Minus 40,000 subscribers. Minus 20,000 subscribers. Oh my god. So, will it, but, will it destroy the channel? That is very hard to say. It's hard to say if it would completely destroy the platform. The reality is that at the end of the day, the platform still has 1.36 million subscribers, which is a lot of subscribers. Um, and as it, even, the truth is that a lot of the people who are unplugging are likely active viewer viewers. The the uh, in, in on YouTube you get a lot of uh, especially when you're a huge channel you have a lot of viewers that aren't active viewers. They're people that subscribed a long time ago and don't necessarily watch every video that comes out. When something like this happens, you tend to lose if you if you get like severely exposed. You tend to lose active viewers because obviously the inactive viewers aren't even going to hear about the drama mo most likely um yeah um and yeah as we saw in the previous video that i did on this her comments were on every video were against her it is possible that this destroys the active user base for her channel but having 1.36 million subscriber video channel even if your your active viewers are is is severely damaged still means that you can perhaps pivot away and use that to your advantage a lot of channels i mean think of it this way uh how many of you have a 1.36 million follower youtube channel with with zero active viewers <laughs> most people don't have that at all so it's still an advantage so i don't know if we can say for sure that it would completely destroy her platform but i do think we can say that this has severely damaged her ability to continue being successful and certainly has completely destroyed her ability to grow um, I do believe it's feasible that she could try a rebrand or something like that, but there's a good chance with something of this severity that it would follow her even through the rebrand. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right, let's continue the video. So Before my thread went up that I was mortified that if I spoke out against Blair or even dared to cross her, that she would retaliate with taking my home from me. When I did speak out, as many of you are aware, Blair sent me a cease and desist. A cease and desist, by the way, over a Twitter thread which she apologized for not only in her video, but as well as privately. Yes, that was another really, really weird thing. At the end of her, um, at the end of her call out video, her I'm being canceled video, she, she wrote in this incredibly strange and weepy, uh, fake apology, which I call it a fake apology because she didn't actually apologize for anything specific. She sort of just apologized for, well, I'm sorry for making you sad. I'm sorry I couldn't be as good as you wanted me to be and didn't actually apologize for any specific incident. But included in that apology was the original thread that Oz wrote. And Oz's thread was uh, fairly... Um, was was fairly straightforward it was basically just saying um i i think that uh wonder is being done wrong uh 
uh, we, we read the whole thing on stream so you can see the full details, but Oz's, Oz's thread was not like a, uh, a like a, 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 a super detailed piece by piece call out. It was just like, Blair, this is wrong. Stop doing this. You're hurting somebody for no reason, that kind of thing. Despite this, I persisted on working on my video, continuing the production of something which started as 20 pages, then slowly grew into the novel that it's become. Throughout this entire process, I had the fear that once I released this video, Blair would drop the hammer on me. I've lived the last four months of my life with the looming threat of Blair's retaliation. And truth being, from my understanding, she could have done this as early as June. As to why Blair waited so long, I'm honestly unsure. To me, it feels like Blair is taking every course of action that she can to prevent this video from being produced, from legal threats to trying to take my home, which wouldn't be surprising, considering Blair's alleged white collar crimes I intend to expose with evidence within my video. Ooh, shit! Oh, man! Maddie Kitten says, I used to mod for Blair. She's horrible, absolutely abysmal. It was several years ago, and my biggest stress was being stuck between her and her ex's fight. The entire time that I was a mod for Blair, my anxiety was amplified, and I was so terrified to go against her because everyone I cared about would stop talking to me or interacting with me at all. Well, that's what ended up happening when I finally left. I'm really sorry you had to deal with that. That's terrible. Uh, we have now seen a, uh, a, what I consider, in my personal opinion, to be a fairly strong pattern of, um, her, of, of Illuminati basically, uh, damaging anyone who even so much as decides that they no longer want to work with her. She seems to be very paranoid, and she seems to think that the, that if people step away from working with her, they must be against her, and so she takes action immediately to damage them so that they can never do anything bad against her, which is, um, which is, of course, uh, ridiculously unhealthy, but also as we can see, it has really shot her in the foot. She's shooting herself in the foot uh, by taking that action because people who just wanted to live their own lives and go on in their own way uh, become the victims of her weird behavior. She pressures people to disassociate with them. She tries to isolate them. She insults them and smears their reputation both publicly and behind closed doors. Let's continue. Before any of this, however, I am taking the proper legal channels and speaking with the right people to elevate this down the needed path. Because of this, it would be unwise of me to reveal further information. I can only assume this is one of the reasons Blair is so determined to shut down my video's production. And to repeat myself from earlier, every word that I speak within this update is with the explicit understanding that this video may end up on the floor of a courtroom. In order for Yikes. me to fight this, regular production of my content is needed to help fund the production of this said video. The reason why I'm making this update is so it's understood that I'm not just ignoring my obligations and responsibilities and suddenly hiding behind a flurry of videos in hopes that people will one day forget. The reason- I think this is a good move. I think this is a very, very, very good move on his part. It's incredibly wise to, 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 to be like, uh, yeah, I'm not giving up on this, but I have to be able to do my job. My living comes from YouTube, and I can't just devote my entire life to fighting, uh, I mean, this is, that's her, that's what she wants. That's the goal of what Illuminati's actions are. It's to silence people by overwhelming them, by crushing them and choking them out, by making it impossible, where they either have to choose to get justice, or they have to, uh, suffer the consequences. Because if you want to get justice in a situation like this, when you're dealing with somebody who's gaslighting you and, li and, and lying about shit and, and, and spreading misinformation and damaging your reputation, you have to take time out of your life to fight back against that, and you have to be at a disadvantage. So this is a wise move on his part. Why this video has taken so much time as it has is not only am I a one-man team producing this, but I'm also continually uncovering more segments to the story. 
What kind of legal advice is this video maker getting? Yeah, go ahead and make a YouTube video about it. No lawyer ever. No, I, I think that this is actually, this is probably at the advice of a lawyer. This type of video is not actually making any allegations or putting forward any specific evidence, but rather just saying, hey, I am working on a video with legal advice for my own, uh, to, to lay out my side of the story, but in the meantime, I have to continue doing my normal work. This seems like a fairly safe one, at least so far. We do still have 10 more minutes in it, so who knows what might, what might happen. Also, Tipster says, according to Oz Media, Blair tried, uh, Blair slash Illuminati tried to sue me after she tried to sweep the crew world happy mind situation under the rug. I uploaded a video covering it and it's my second most watched video on my channel and she is not happy about that. Oh, I don't think we covered much of the cruel world happy mind situation. Um, is that, was that the situation with the, um, ant, with the other anti multi-level marketing, uh, content creator? If I remember correctly, if I'm remembering the situation correctly, uh, 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 Illuminati uh, accused that content creator of plagiarism. Am I, am I remembering that correctly? Please feel free to correct me if that's not correct. I believe that's what, what, what went down. Yes, that is what happened. Okay, yeah. Uh, we didn't cover that one because it was a, uh, it was, you know, it happened at a different time and it wasn't directly connected to this. Ow, I just pinched my finger. Um, yeah. It was a really dirty situation. I don't even know why. It was another situation where it's just like, why would you choose to do this? That content creator didn't do anything to you, really. She has a full video on it. Hmm. Maybe we'll react to this in the future. Oh, yeah, I haven't done this. Well, we might have to do this. We, we've committed to uh, covering the entirety of this Illuminati situation from beginning to end. And again, for everyone who is here and, uh, and didn't hear me say this at the beginning, the, the part of the reason why I've been so uh, exhaustive in my coverage of this situation is because I think that this is something that people should be very aware of. Um, people in positions of power, people with, uh, with influence, uh, trying to take advantage of young content creators who are excited to make new content to make, to, to get their creativity out in the world is a serious problem, not just in YouTube, but in the in entertainment world as a whole. The exploitation of young and idealistic people who are, uh, very, very, um, you know, uh, genuine and putting their first front forward and willing to work very hard happens all the time. Uh, usually it's not even this severe. Uh, it happens in more sort of subtle and, and, uh, sinister ways. But in this particular situation, um, this is just like an, an outright example of, mo of multiple types of, uh, of attempted, uh, 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 in what, what, what comes off to me as, uh, attempted, uh, manipulation for financial gain. And let's get back to it. And hearing more and more voices that come forward to speak their side of things, interviews, questionnaires, screenshots, the works, all from a number of individuals. During this process, the video will continue to remain under production. I'm not stopping this because of her retaliation. While she did successfully give me pause, I do fully intend to complete this video. Now, let's talk about how Blair is even able to foreclose on me. What put her in a position of power beyond a landlord? A mortgagee, which in my eyes is something even worse. As a quick note, Blair's name is not on any of the original documents related to my home. I'm providing all of this information to give full context to the GoFundMe as I feel it's more than deserved, as honestly, I would feel guilty as hell putting the video on pause shortly after it hit its funding goal, followed by me just continuing to upload regular content without warning. More details will of course follow with the main video, as I do not have time to fully expand on everything. As I briefly stated previously, Blair and I dated. We started when I was 20 and she was 28. And currently? I'm 23, almost 24. In the beginning, Blair walked me into several poor financial decisions. My naivety caused me to believe her reassurances. Wait, hold, hold on a second, hold on. 
Bla how old I'm is getting Blair? a ton of different numbers here. I rem uh, we talked about that in the past, but I can't remember. All of this information to give full context to the GoFundMe as I feel it's more than deserved. As honestly, I would feel guilty as hell putting the video on pause shortly after it hit its funding goal, followed by me just continuing to upload regular content without warning. More details will of course follow with the main video, as I do not have time to fully expand on everything. As I briefly stated previously, Blair and I dated. We started when I was 20 and she was 28. And wow. currently, okay. I'm 23, almost 24. In the beginning, Blair walked me into- Okay, so there's an eight, there is an eight year age gap. Now, oh man, here we go. I can't, we're gonna have to talk about this again. Jesus Christ. Okay. I can't believe I didn't I didn't know we were gonna get into age gap discourse, okay? Um listen. Uh a twenty year old is an adult, okay? But a twenty year old is a young adult. And um and uh we also know, given the context of this situation, in, in the in the full context of this situation, we know that Blair uh also uh, 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 as a me as a part of her, uh, as a part of this entire drama, one of the main things here was that Blair also advised another just barely turned twenty year old wonder into a number of financial situations uh, that were totally inadvisable and also that put her in complete financial control. This appears to be a, from my analysis, a pattern for Illuminati, AKA Blair. Uh, there's so many fetuses in this chat. Eight, eight, uh, <laughs> there are a lot of young people that watch this, okay? Listen, um, age gaps, differences in age are not inherently a bad thing as long as everyone involved is an adult, okay? That should obviously be understood. But differences in age are not inherently a bad thing. However, there can be risks. And I will say that um, uh, that one of the things that is a giant red flag in this particular situation is not just that these, that these two people were in a relationship, that there was an eight year age gap between a 28 year old and a 20 year old, but additionally, that they were involved in business that additionally, they were immediately getting involved in housing, that they were immediately getting involved in uh, the ownership of vehicles, that there was a ownership of a company involved here. Um, and I honestly think that that type of, uh, of power difference with regard to the fact that uh, Blair is someone who at, at, at nearly 30, um, is advising a very young person to make uh, to, to take financial actions that directly benefit her, that is one of the risks, okay? That is seriously one of the risks. As I said, there is nothing intrinsically wrong with a difference in age. And in fact, many people are able to have healthy and fulfilling relationships with a, with a difference in age. Uh, sometimes a 30-year-old dates a 45-year-old and has a good time with it. Sometimes a 25-year-old dates a 35-year-old and has a good time with it. Uh, and, and they both are, 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 are healthy and happy. Um, but there are risky situations where that's not always the case. And I will say that we now have two separate examples in this single situation of Blair targeting people who are, uh, you know, a decade younger than her, people who are, who have only been an adult for two years in this particular case, uh, and advising them to take, to make financial decisions that benefit her. Power imbalances are not as simple as comparing two numbers, okay? But that is certainly something to consider and think about in this particular situation. And I do think that it uh, it, it adds another layer to the situation to consider that, uh, that Blair was considerably older uh, than uh, Oz when they began their relationship, especially given the type of relationship that she was trying to build. Twenty is still super young. Yeah, I, I, like I when I think back to when I was twenty, and for for the record, uh, I am I am currently thirty two. Okay, for me, I'm thirty two. All right, uh, and 
I, uh, when I think back to when I was 20, I was a fucking idiot. Like I had, I had just barely uh, been able to get away from my family and the cult that I grew up in. Like I was, I didn't know anything about the world. It's, uh, it's pretty drastic. And so I do think that if like, uh, in like an age gap situation like that, I do think that the older person has a certain amount of responsibility to, uh, they're both adults. A 20 year old is an adult. An adult can make adult decisions and they should be able to make adult decisions. And adult decisions sometimes include wanting to be with somebody who's older than you. But 20 year olds are still very inexperienced. And if a 28 year old is trying to financially take advantage of a 20 year old who doesn't know any better, that's, that's not good. That's messed up. That wasn't the cleanest way to talk about this issue. That wasn't the most structured way, but I hope what I said makes sense. Again, this is a live reaction to this information. So I hope that uh, everything that I said there makes sense to you all. Let's continue. My goodness, let's continue. Several poor financial decisions. My naivety caused me to believe her reassurances that I could handle all of the financial obligations being dropped onto my shoulders by someone more experienced in life than I was. Why these obligations were placed onto me? At the time, Blair had bad credit. So all of the purchases- Oh my fucking God. Oh my God loans, everything, was being placed in my name. This included the car that she purchased, then revoked from Wonderstruck. I was on the- Oh my god! This is a fucking bombshell. If all of this, uh, if all of this is provable, this is a massive bombshell. Actually, we know for a fact that it was, uh, we know for a fact that it was Oz who was on the car part, but we didn't know about everything else. B Blair, according to this testimony, Blair sought out a young kid and saddled them up with debt because her credit was bad for things that just directly, be this is so bad. Holy moly. Okay, we better continue. My goodness. Alone as a co-signer only because of my credit at the time. Eventually, though, the financial responsibilities that I incurred would stack up on me, building a mountain of monthly debt that would lead me into several financially tight months and eventually just breaking. This would lead me to asking Blair, my partner, for financial help. Financial help for things such as my home, which she was living in. Help from my partner, who at any given time would be making up to 30 times my monthly income. These are Holy moly. This is something that we talked about with the Wonderstruck situation as well, which is that her aggression and her uh, highly pressuring uh, her employees who were making a, a fraction of what she was making into incredibly disadvantaged financial situations, like her insisting that uh, Wonderstruck, uh, 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 according to Wonderstruck, her basically constantly saying, oh, we need to get you a car. And then the car that she recommends was a BMW. Amounts of assistance would be added to a ledger of debt. And I wanna clarify again, Blair wasn't my bank. She wasn't my landlord. She was my partner at this time. This ledger also includes things such as a non-refundable design fee and land deposit oh on a multi- Oh my god! She was fucking- she wasn't even giving the money to- uh, She has- she was holding debt over his head too? She was holding personal debt over his head? This is insane! This is deranged! This is why I say this shit is important. Be careful out there, okay? What, train yourself. If it sounds too good to be true, it may be, okay? A 28-year-old with a successful YouTube channel telling you that you can have a house and a BMW if only you'll sign right on the dotted line. Every alarm in your head should go off, okay?
every alarm in your head. This is fucking terrible. Million dollar custom home that she threatened to break up with me if I didn't agree to proceed on this with her, as well as other financial expenses that I honestly can't account for, nor even come close to this number when digging through my own finances. This ledger would creep into the range of $180,000. An oh insurmountable. My God! Building up a personal ledger of $180,000 over the head of a 20 year old? After you, after you, after you pressure them to buy a million dollar home? What the hell is going on? This is evil. This is like, this is like cartoon devil evil. And I say that wearing devil horns. ...amount where I don't even understand how she got there. That number ballooned higher and higher, the number ever increasing, and I never questioned it out of guilt for needing help. Guilt from her telling everyone, from her friends to my friends, to her employees, to hell, even her Discord staff, about my finances. Oh my god. Okay, by the way, another absolute textbook manipulator situation. If you're in a relationship with someone and they're telling literally everyone that they know, oh yeah, they're constantly needing money. They owe me a ton of money. Oh yeah, they're like this. They're setting up, they're setting up a situation where you can't defect because other people will, will have the idea that you're like a layabout and a slob who owes a ton of money. That is incredibly, incredibly manipulative. Everything about this situation is so disgustingly manipulative. And remember, let us not forget, let us not forget that Illuminati's channel claims to be a channel that is about uh, exposing evil business practices, manipulative multi-level marketing campaigns, and cults. Literally a situation of this is the perfect cover for me to do exactly the thing that I'm criticizing others for. It is literally the perfect example of defensive projection. Let's continue. Oftentimes unprompted. Guilt involving the fact that everyone I interacted with on a day-to-day -day basis looked down on me for her words towards me. My own partner, the person who was supposed to be my other half, was actively putting me in a position where she was chipping away at my mental health. I was afraid to tell anyone what was happening because she had convinced me that I was a parasite. That I... I avoided telling anyone who could have helped, who could have helped me see what was happening out of fear of further confirmation, more eyes looking down on me. Something to note, when you're around Blair, your world revolves around her. In my case, my home was hers, despite her name not being on it. I had no friends out in Colorado, a state that I moved to at the behest of Blair. Only Blair's friends were out here. All of my connections had to be approved by her. I wasn't- This also is another portion that more- that mirrors what happened to Wonder. Blair deliberately, uh, deliberately and repeatedly, uh, uh, encouraged Wonder to move away from his support networks. Allowed to be friends with people she didn't like, such as Click and One Topic, or even Wonder, once that bridge was burned and reduced to cinders. I was even in a position where my finances were. Thank you for the reminder, um, Uncle Gumbold. I forgot to turn this, the subtitles on. Subtitles are now on. Sorry about that. Nearly entirely controlled by her, from what debts I took on to later being the fact that she was the person who signed my paychecks. All while my world was painted to me in a light where I should be grateful for her generosity. It wasn't until recently when I explained my situation to my parents, my friends outside of Blair's control, that I began to understand just how perverse my life had become for nearly three years. And I want to add, I tried to pay Blair back in any way that I could, by the way. I felt indentured to her by this debt she had hanging over my head. Hell, I even took a position in her company at a lower pay to try and pay this debt back. Off
demented. Demented. That is demented. That is literal indentured. That is literally being indentured. If you are taking a pay cut in her company, working for less than your worth because she's holding debt over your head, that is quite literally indentured servitude. Do you know what a healthy relationship would do? If you were, in, if, if, first of all, a healthy relationship wouldn't have uh, started with you pressuring your younger partner to uh, take on as much debt as possible. That is deranged, okay? That is deranged and ridiculously unhealthy. But in a healthy relationship, if your partner is struggling with debt, then you do something to, 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 to deal with those costs. You don't keep saddling them in more debt and keep a big book of now you owe me and can't get away from me. That is deranged. Isolation, manipulation, sp uh, uh, loading people up with debts, asking them to do work for you for less because of the money that they owe you, all while never pumping the brakes, never saying, what's going on here? And the answer, of course, of why you can't just say what's going on here, because according to this, according to this story, if, if everything that Oz is saying is true here, which I am inclined to believe, then the reason the debts were incurring in the first place was because of Blair. Because Blair wanted a nice house. Blair wanted a nice car. And Blair saw a way to get that by exploiting, according to this narrative, a young adult. That is so the opposite of a healthy relation. It is so far from a healthy relationship. It is so many, it is in another galaxy from a healthy relationship. Horrific manipulation and abuse. I can't even believe that this situation has progressed to a position of actual indentured servitude. of saying you owe me money and now you need to work it off. A in a relationship with me, you need to work this off. De deranged. Offered to work with her in her crypto farm for free to pay back the debt. Anything that I could to oh, try and make- A crypto farm? What? Wait, wait a minute. What a crypto farm? Hold on a second. What? Wait, 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 did, did I miss something? When did the crypto farm appear? What? Crypto farm? This is literally new. What? Uh, hold on a second. Is this known? Or is this new? Oh my god. Oh my god. She literally did. She has a video up about Bitcoin, about Bitcoin manipulation. She's multiple. If this is true, but we don't have any evidence of this. I, I need, we, we need, I guess we're going to have to wait for the final video, but this is not something I've heard about. Yeah, leftist Illuminati. Remember when remember when uh, Illuminati was on a podcast called The Leftist Mafia? All the while be, being a abusive uh, uh, relationship tyrant, a small business fucking monarch freak, and now and now potentially maybe a crypto bro. Super leftist here. Jesus, mother fucking Christ. Let's continue. We we got to move past this. I'm hoping that we have I'm hoping that the final video of this saga reveals what the fuck is this crypto farm thing because in this in all of this we've not heard anything about the crypto farm. 
but it's very possible that this crypto farm is a side project that people like Wonder and the Click were not involved in. Myself feel useful. While I worked for Blair's company, I helped improve it in any way that I could with my knowledge of how YouTube worked. I was able to assist in the push for Blair's channel to make the sudden and stark rise into a new payout range of six figures a month, all while I was being paid not even enough to get by with my monthly bills. And Blair was very aware of my finances. I sacrificed a lot of my time to try and recoup this debt while also trying to help save her channel. Because in 2021, due to personal and private reasons expressed to me by Blair, this would lead me to up and almost entirely abandon my channel throughout the year of 2022. More of this story later because there are more pieces. But this led to the end of 2022 where Blair would take advantage of not only my financial strife, but both my legal and financial illiteracy in December of that year. When I was 23 and Blair was nearly 31, Blair, with her lawyer, would create an honestly quite confusing legal document for me to sign where I would agree to pay back her debt. Blair, oh being the person who no. signed my checks, knew that I couldn't afford legal representation. Blair also knew that the two and a half thousand dollars that she was having me pay monthly towards that debt was almost as much as I was making monthly working for her. This would mean that I could barely pay for anything else in my life other than the debt that I owed her. Everything I made working for her was going right back into her pocket. Blair oh would bring God. me to her lawyer's office put me in a room alone with the two of them, with papers in front of me. Papers which I foolishly signed for a myriad of reasons no! ranging from Blair expressing that this would- Oh God! Oh, this is gonna be the worst. Oh man, the legal case around this is gonna be a mess. Oh man, this is gonna be such a bloody mess. I cannot even believe what I'm hearing. mend our relationship, that it was the right thing for me to do, that this would also protect her legally and prevent her from getting into trouble with the IRS. She also would describe to me, and while I can't remember if this exact word was ever used, she essentially explained to me that because she used company funds to assist me, that she had committed embezzlement. Oh my god! that because she used company funds to assist me, that she had committed embezzlement. And by converting the amount that I owed her into a loan with her company, this would save her skin legally. Now, to most people, that word may not have a lot of meaning. But to me, when I was 11, my mother was incarcerated for this exact crime, a remnant of the 2008 financial crisis. This taught me a very harsh lesson from an early age. But more importantly, Blair was aware of this past of mine. Whether this was used against me, I can't say for certain. But the idea of another person I loved being locked away, but this time for my actions, words cannot describe the guilt that I had. As I- It wasn't even his actions. He was taking out loans on the advice of Blair. She was working him. Oh. Oh. He's fucking a bunch of fucking kids. They're just fucking kids. A bunch of fucking young, extremely young adults being roped into an incredible amount of legally binding contracts and now the noose is being tied around their neck so that Blair could sit in a fucking filthy room and make shitty YouTube videos. What a fucking disaster. What a absolutely fucking disaster.
I am no lawyer, but uh, I can't help but feel like there may be a case uh, for being forced to sign these contracts under duress, given that she would be the one who committed embezzlement and not him. If this, if this narrative is correct, if every aspect of this narrative is 100% I's dotted and T's crossed, But I'm no lawyer, so I don't know. And I imagine that those laws would probably depend on which state you're in and how the case is argued. This is deranged. This this situation has has continued to spiral more and more out of control as more is revealed. And it all just sort of starts to make sense why so many people were on edge around her. Why so many people felt pressured to behave in ways they didn't want to. Why so much pain has been, uh, has been involved in this drama. Briefly stated earlier, Blair <sighs> used this debt as a promise that this would specifically help mend our relationship, not our friendship, and put us on a better foot. It wouldn't be until a few weeks after signing that document that I would learn that she had already moved on, and had almost everyone in my daily life keep this fact a secret from me. Blair used all of this, promises of reconciliation and other factors which will soon be further elaborated on, as means to get me to sign a document known as a deed of trust. I wasn't aware of the power that this document held, what it does, what it allowed her to do. Again. I couldn't afford legal representation. She knew this. This document gave her the power to foreclose if I was unable to make a monthly payment of nearly $2,500 for nearly a decade. Blair knew that even with my income oh working my for her, God. that this wasn't possible. So, it feels as though she knew that I would be destined to fall behind, that this outcome was inevitable. If the home is foreclosed or if I decide to sell, Blair gets an immediate payout, and it's because of this that I'm hesitant to take the easy way out. There's also the fact that there's just not enough equity in the home. That if this were to foreclose upon, Blair would still be out money, and she could then sue me further to get that money back. If you're looking for an easy point of evidence, as you can see with wonder, Blair has a habit of taking advantage of younger men, eight years younger than her, and their financial illiteracy for her own personal gain. Originally, I assumed that I would have the video produced by now, but unfortunately, I overestimated my abilities and also had to deal with the legal and financial stress which followed. It's obvious to me that I need to focus on myself and not destroy my well-being for this video. This, of course, leads me to the GoFundMe. Not a penny of what has been raised will be used to repay Blair. I will be using the aid given for legal fees and only necessary expenses. The purpose is to aid me in potentially breaking out of what I can only call a manipulative situation with several lanes of legal red tape in front of me. This money will be used to secure a legal retainer in any legal cost, and once and only once, the legal front is secured, will I use the funding to help with monthly finances related to securing my home. Finances which are not tied to Blair in any way. I also want to add that I'm not trying to escape any debt that I may rightfully owe Blair. I just don't want to fucking lose my home or lose it from retaliation. For further future transparency, I intend to provide updates with my GoFundMe, which will include progress updates and invoices when applicable. I intend to be as transparent as I legally can throughout all of this. And of course, I wanted to thank everyone for their patience with me. And I felt that this update was more than deserved for everyone who's been here so far. Thank you all. Also, she took the furniture. Holy fucking God. Well, wow, okay, wow.
you see why I said that this was a breaking news emergency drama mama? Do you see now? Do you see now why I called you all here today? By the way, if you're here and you are not a Demon Mama subscriber, smack that subscribe button down below. Okay? Because I would love to see you come back for my future streams, for the uh, major uh, content that I cover, for the deep an analysis that I do on all of these things. I would absolutely love to have you here. But you guys can now see why I called you all here today, huh? Link us the vid and the GoFundMe. Oh, of course. The GoFundMe is right here. I'm going to spam the GoFundMe. Anybody who wants to donate, who feels that it's a good thing, pop in there and consider throwing some money towards Oz. XLR says, peonage, also known as debt slavery or debt servitude, is a system where an employer compels a worker to pay off debt with work. Legally, peonage was outlawed by Congress in 1867. Well, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a lawyer, so I can't tell you uh, if there is something in here that avoids that definition, because it's possible that there is. But what I can say is that from my read on an ethical level, uh, this is a heinous uh, example of unbelievable emotional, uh, mental, uh, and uh, financial abuse. Uh, Blair, Illuminati, according to this, if all of this ends up being completely true, and we only have, a, for, for this particular segment, we only have the word of Oz Media to go on for now. Which is, of course, why when the video drops, we will be following up on that. But provided all of this ends up being true, what that would mean is that Illuminati engaged, utilized a personal relationship with a uh, a young adult, eight years uh, their junior, in order to uh, uh, basically guarantee herself a comfortable life of reg uh, of relative luxury, a million dollar house, a uh, uh, multiple BMWs, uh, the ability to freely pursue her own businesses for her own profit. And as we know, she clearly used this to gain, uh, to, to grow her own channel to incredible sizes. I mean, her channel is bigger than any of their, of, of these people's channels, way bigger than Oz, way bigger than, uh, Wonders channel, way bigger than even the Clicks channel. Her channel was the biggest by all of them, and the profits from that channel went to her. She had people do work for various channels that they were involved in. She wrapped them up into various contracts, and at the same time, uh, when people defied her, uh, she would utilize her social connections and uh, uh, her, uh, her social connections and her clout to basically make it harder for them to escape her control. What we have on our hands is a situation of incredibly cold, cruel, and calculating abuse and manipulation. The idea that someone like Blair, let this just be said, okay? The idea that someone like Illuminati could ever be considered a leftist is fucking insane, okay? So anybody who's listening to this, I want you to recognize and realize that that that, that is a level of hypocrisy. Uh, not just not just your surface level. Oops. Oh, hip, you live in a society and yet you critique that society. I, I, Illuminati, according to everything that we've seen and heard so far, is the pinnacle of an example of what every leftist any leftist with any level of integrity or belief is fighting against. A disgusting abuse of the economy, a disgusting abuse of age differences, a disgusting abuse of personal connection, for personal gain, for monetary gain, for luxury and comfort. It is disgusting. And it should be rejected. The, if the fact that, that Blair's entire channel is devoted to distracting from her own disgusting behaviors when her behaviors are worse than some of the people, her, her uh, 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 alleged company town is worse than some of the people she covers on her channel. It's mind-bending. 
Be careful, Illuminati might sue me. Illuminati will not sue me. And if Illuminati were to sue me, that would be uh, incredibly fucking stupid. My entire show is presented to you from my opinion, very explicitly. It would be ridiculous. It's not my fault that she left a paper trail all across the internet. It's not my fault that uh, her, her alleged victims have decided to step out to the degree that other channels that share the space have to talk about it as a matter of fucking safety. I know that in my audience listening right now, people listening to my show right now, there are people out here who have desires to work in the YouTube world, who, who have desires to work in entertainment, who have desires to work in leftist entertainment. And people like Blair make it more dangerous. People like Blair seek out young, impressionable, and passionate people and exploit them, bind them into contracts that they will never be able to understand because they are at a disadvantage, and then lock them into those contracts for the rest of their lives. I don't know if Oz is ever going to be able to escape some of the stuff that was signed. Unfortunately, in the United States of America, uh, uh, the technicalities of contracts are taken with uh, in uh, are taken as one of the highest and most powerful forms of law. Because of course, our entire system function fun functions off of a similar structure. Desperation leading you to make uh, decisions that hurt you for someone else's gain. S the threat of starvation, the threat of houselessness, the threat of physical harm leading you to make decisions like selling your own body for labor, for sex, for whatever. But I will say that this is one of the most egregious situations I've ever heard of in this entire sphere. I have not heard, I, I don't know of anyone in this particular sphere of the internet that has gone so far. With what we saw from Wonder, with what we heard from The Click, which The Click's video was loaded to the teeth with all of the uh, receipts. And now what we've heard from Oz, this is shaping up to be one of the most shocking and sickening uh, revelations that has ever shaken this sphere of the internet. Man, that is just so messed up. <sighs> it makes me really sad. On just a personal level, it, it, it just seriously, seriously bothers me. And I don't understand it. I don't understand the type of person who can uh who who can just uh look at some other another human especially a human who's almost 10 years younger than them and go yeah i bet i could manipulate this person into paying for my pathetic life of going to fucking cheesecake factory every night i guess you just i guess there just has to be something missing inside I feel for this kid. I can't even imagine the horror. I can't even imagine the nightmare situation where if you genuinely love someone and that person, you believe that person is looking out for you and trying to help you and they're putting you in a spot where they're trying to basically blame you for the decisions that they've made and ensure that you sign a paper under the uh, with with a fucking lawyer standing there when you're just a kid and you don't know what you're doing and the person that you trust perhaps most in the entire world is sitting there trying to exploit you it's it's ah uh, 
It's so, it's so sad. All we can hope for at the moment is that the, the repercussions from this type of cruelty and insanity are greater than any that she could put, that she could uh, uh, meet out on Oz Media and and Wonder and all of the other people. I can we can only hope that that, that people will see this, that people will uh, get the word out, whether it's through sharing videos like mine or or getting these videos directly out. Part of the reason why I cover this is specifically to signal boost because I want the word to get out. I want people to know about this so it doesn't fucking happen anymore. So that she can't go and hurt more people. We don't even know. There could be a whole new batch of 20 year olds that she's taking advantage of right now. Her channel is still going. She's posting videos to her channel right now. We don't know who she's roping into contracts right now behind closed doors. Using that platform using that access to people using the influence the clout the money the glitz and the glamour the promises of hey you're really passionate about youtube i can make you successful all you got to do is uh sign over the house that you own to me and don't worry i'll take good care of you i promise there's nothing i can do to hurt you also it really shines some light on the stuff that we saw before doesn't it it all kind of clicks together when you realize that Oz was uh, was helping Blair uh, through so many questionable actions. And now we see the amount of pressure that would lead someone to do that. And we can see that Oz didn't keep going with it. Oz was put in a position, as far as we can tell, allegedly. Well, I think that's all there really is to say about it at this point. All we can do is look to the future and wait for the next update. Um, the truth is, it might be a while till the next update, because clearly a lot of shit is going down. Uh, IRL, this stuff has hit the courts. And I hate to say it, but uh, it seems to me like Oz Media might be finding themselves in a very, very difficult situation coming forward. So I truly hope that Oz's fan base and Oz's friends and family are going to be able to step up to the plate to make sure that Oz can stay safe. I can't even imagine how hard it would be to be put in this position, especially when uh, the, you need the place that you live to continue making content. When, you, when your job is as a YouTube creator, if your studio gets taken away, you can't make the money. It creates a spiral. There are a lot of lawyers on YouTube. Uh, uh, hopefully some of them talk about this situation and the best options that Oz may have. Well, I do think that there's a lot of people talking about this, but um, it's, uh, I, I truly hope that, um, I truly hope that Oz is able to get an, inc like, an incredible amount of support in this. Well, again, that's all I have to say for this particular update. We will be following this story closely as it goes on, as we have. Like I said before, linked below in the description are going to be all of my former videos on this unbelievable situation. If you want to get the full story, uh, it is a long trek, okay? It's a long hike up the Drama Mama mountain, okay? Uh, uh, but I assure you, you will find these videos gratifying and informative. It's an important subject that affects this sphere that all of you are currently occupying at this moment. Um, I, uh, I appreciate your support. Uh, please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, press the subscribe button down below. I would love, love to have you as a member of my channel. And also, this show is 100% viewer supported. So you, if you enjoyed my coverage, uh, uh, consider throwing a few bucks my way. And of course, don't just consider throwing a few bucks my way. I am just the signal booster in this case and your humble entertainer. Uh, uh, and, and, and an analyst. Uh, also consider throwing some money over 
to the Oz, to Oz Media's fundraiser uh, so that he can, at the very least, have some level of defense in this particular situation. Um, regardless of where you fall in interpreting the entire story, I think we can acknowledge that Oz Media doesn't deserve uh, to, to have his house foreclosed upon uh, because he broke up with his ex uh, who pressured him to get into that house in the first place, allegedly. I think we can all agree on that. So uh, the video, the Oz video is here. I'm gonna drop that in chat. You guys will be able to see it. Boop, 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 boop. Oops, that is an ugly link. Sorry about that. And I'm gonna drop it down in the YouTube chat as well.